Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, reading one verse. Same chapter, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. We are going to read verse 5 because it's the second part of the verse I want to deal with. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Have you ever heard of the term tough love? Well, this is what I'm dealing with, tough love. There are times when you have someone that you love, whether they're a mate, a significant other, or a child, maybe a brother or sister, and you're in a, it might even be your parent. You're in a situation where you are the one who is taking care of the other. And the other needs you. They need you emotionally. They need you financially. They need you physically. They need all kind of stuff from you. And you do everything you can to comfort them through their trial as, as you're sharing the trial with them because you're carrying the load. But they need you emotionally. Well, there are times when you need to give them support. You need to hug them. You need to encourage and nurture and do everything you can to build them up. That's a good thing. It's always good to encourage. But there are times, there are seasons when you need to back away. You need to close the bank account Close your wallet, take the key out because you turn the engine off and walk away. And it seems at those times it's difficult because you are the one that wants to care. You want to nurture, you want to help, you don't want any harm to come. But let me tell you something, baby. There are times that a good butt whooping in life will straighten the person out much quicker than all your love and all your help and all your money and all your sacrifices. There are times when you need to refrain from embracing. Now, that re refraining from embracing includes, as the old expression says, this quote, just say no. Now, I'm not talking about drugs. I'm talking about your loved ones. There are times when you need to say no, when they need you to say no, even though they'll hate you for it, they'll resent you for it. Let me tell you a story. I knew a lady. She was one of my hair customers. She told me one day her son had a long talk with her. It was during the Christmas holidays and everything was sentimental. The atmosphere was conducive for him opening up. And he said, you know, you did something that it took me a long time to forgive you for. You put me out. You put me out on the streets knowing I didn't have anywhere to go. Then the man said this. But mama, thank you. Thank you for doing it. That forced me. I went through some heartache, some setbacks, and some, some, some hard times. But they didn't last long. Within a year, I found out what it really meant to be a man. I had to learn the hard way. But if you had continued to help me, if you had continued to, to support me and enable me, I might have still been in that dependent, lazy situation to this day. And that was maybe 10 years down the road. But he told his mother, you made a man out of me. And I'll always be grateful for that. When I was immature, I didn't see the value in what you did. I didn't see the value when you put me out. I thought, how could a mother do that? How could she say she loved me if she's doing this? Tough love. That man knew 
that man recognized that the time was right, the season was ripe, and he needed to be put out in order for him to become the man he ended up being. He got a job. He went back to school. He got his act together, got a wife and kids, and he is the breadwinner, baby. And he has maintained his manship <laughs> after all that. But he told his mother, you made a man out of me. And I will always be grateful because I know that was hard for you to do. I realize how much you really love me. I say that to say to you, if you are being an enabler, if your family members, your friends, church members, co-workers are telling you, you need to stop being an enabler. It's time. The season for being the help, the helping hand, the charity, the sacrificial lamb, and all that you've been doing. That season is over. It's time for you to refrain from embracing, to refrain from enabling, to refrain from making excuses for them, to refrain for the sit for the the pity to refrain please stop you will end up creating an emotional cripple financial dependent a paralytic that can't seem to do anything valuable with their lives and one that has no drive whatsoever and they feel or have uh, assumed based on what you have been teaching through your actions that the world owes them and they have the right to sit on their behind as others take care of them. So you end up with a gold digger for a daughter or a son that's good for nothing except being a gigolo. I'm telling you, you've got, it's that time. It's time, it's wake up time. It's time for them to get up off their death and it's time for you to slam the door shut where there is no more resource for them to suck out of you. No more. Shop is closed. Close your shop. Lock the door and pray and see what God will do. Because God knows. God knows how to make a man out of a man. How to make a woman out of a woman. While you're still trying to keep him a little boy. Or keep her your little girl. Think about that. 